right what's going on hbi bullet all internal upgrades i got the parts in uh, a few days ago <clears throat> i was kind of under the weather so i used the opportunity to get it and get it done it's that escalate body i got on this hbi bullet escalate body on there 200 millimeters fits pretty nice see the wheel wells you gotta alter them a little bit anyway but the 200 bodies fit pretty nice on a bullet whereas over the savage and all those monster trucks the wheels be like way out here before the body so this right here fits pretty nice anyway check these upgrades up check these upgrades out the mamba monster I'm sorry, Mamba Max Pro came in. I threw that on there. This is the 5700KV. I put my Airtronics in there. Power this on. Bullet. Power button. That's the castle. Just shot on. Might know some blue lights right there. Yeah, put the gyro in there. <clears throat> Let's get a complete rundown real quick. See this on there. Complete rundown. All right. All new electronics. Everything electronically in here is new. Same shocks. Same plastic shocks. Um, like I said, the dog bones, the drive shafts, what you want to call them. They come aluminum, so I didn't have to upgrade those or touch those. It comes with a, <clears throat> a steel plate chassis. Most trucks don't have that. Most come with plastic. <clears throat> Man, later on, I might do the shocks. Actually, my next move might be the shocks or the braces. I can get those in aluminum. It's right here, this one, that one, and there's one up in here. I can get those aluminum. Actually, my next move might be the shocks, though. Uh, alright. I did the servo first. Digital servo. High tech. This is hot torque. Just did the, um, the gyro. For reading, like I said, I usually go on the blocks. I check what does what. These are good stabilizers. A lot of people use it for drifting. They're not going to tell you that. Cause they want you to think they got them mad skills. A lot of people use it for drifting. But also it's a good stabilizer. Let me give you a quick example. Remote's over there, I'm not touching it. Now, if I shift the car, you get the whole car in the view. Go this way. See how they straighten themselves out? So they saying like high runs, or even drifting, it'll try to stabilize itself. It makes the car run smoother, better, more controllable. But a lot of drifters use that. They so they're not going to tell you that. They want you to think they're pros or whatever. Some guys, some people have skills, but most of them got these little boxes in their jaw. Uh, I ran the wires through the battery box. That way it won't get caught in the gear, in the spur, in the pinion. It won't get caught in none of those. Through the gear box. I'm mean, sorry, through the battery box. You see it dips out right there. It dips under there. The ES, I'm sorry. The, uh, Receiver boxes in there. The receiver inside the box in there. Mamba ESC. Mamba motor. That's it. All the electronics has been done on here. I strapped this up here to keep it out the way. So I don't want nothing to get tangled inside the um, the gears. So like I said, far as electronics, fully upgraded. Don't know what it'll do yet. I still run two cell light bulbs. My understanding this could take up to a six. But I know the motor said three, so I have to still understand that. Oh, right there. That's the Airtronics upgrade kit for the sensor, which doesn't work. I took my time, I hooked it up right, followed all the instructions. The heat gauge works. It's supposed to be heat and RPM. The heat actually is a little probably can't see it. It's a little sensor in here that touches the motor. That's how you get the heat reading. As far as the RPM, supposedly, the bracket here feels something rotating inside the motor. 
That's what it gives the RPM reading. So since this is a four pole motor, I don't know if this is the reason it's not reading. What it's supposed to read inside there or what? So I emailed the people that make them, wait for a response on them to see if there's a solution to it. If not, I'm gonna have to go back to the original kit that came with the remote. And that's somehow attached that on there. Um the little feedback. I'm not sure why probably because it's not on the ground. Tires in the air right now. It might be why it's getting a little feedback. Oh yeah, another misconception. A lot of people like let me turn this off. A lot of people like the monsters. Excuse me, I keep saying monsters. A lot of people like the um the Mamba Max Pros. The only downfall I'm hearing is the BECs they say are crappy inside of them. Well, I don't know if that's true or not. As usual, I don't take chances. So what I did was I put my own capacitor inside the receiver box. Like this all we under there. The receiver box is like underneath the ESC tray. But anyway, my own capacitor is in there. I have a spectrum capacitor, voltage capacitor inside the box. Plugged into the um, empty slot on the receiver. So I won't have any glitching problems whatsoever. So I had the BEC plus that. But then when I plugged it up, you know, I got the Castle program cable. When I plugged it to my laptop, there was an update. General update for the Mamba. So if you got a Mamba, you got the Castle links, plug him up. Don't know how long you had it. Don't know how long the update been out there. But plug him up. There is an update for it out there. What it do, couldn't tell you. But every update generally is an improvement. So update it. But anyway, as I'm looking through all the different settings, there's a setting for the BEC that comes inside the Mambas. You can have it at 5.8 volts. 5.5 um, is what it's factory set at. You can even turn it up to 6.0 volts. So I don't know if these people know that you can adjust the BEC inside the Mamba. That might have solved some of their problems. I don't know. Nobody talked about that part in the blogs and anything that I read. But you can adjust the BEC inside the Mambas. I don't have my laptop up here right now, but if you have the program, get into it. You can adjust it. But like I said, I put the cap in there just in case. Um, one thing I am waiting for is another fan and heat sink to put on this motor here. I hear that these motors get pretty hot. So I guess all motors get hot, but I ordered it anyway. Like I said, 9 out of 10, I'm going to take that bracket off of there. This is made by um, Gear Racing. I'm going to take that off of there. Put the heat sink and fan on there. And that's, like I said, attached to the original sensors that air triangles come with. Now, as far as the motor that I took, motor and um, ESC that I took off of here, I'm going to put that on my Sprint to Flux. I have two Sprint to Flux cars. I'm going to put it on the second one, which is going to be a drift car. So naturally, I bought more than one of those little drift pro boxes right there. I'm going to make that a drift car. I'm going to put that motor and combo in there. Because right now, it has a factory... Um, 5900 kV motor and a sidewinder slash vapor ESC with no fan on it. So I'm gonna put that in that one. I ordered the what did I order? I ordered the 7700 kV for my Sprint to Flux speed car. I said one car is gonna be for speed, one car is gonna be for drifting. This truck here just for fun. And that's that's my whole family right there, my three HPIs. I said, soon I'm going to hit the streets, man. Hopefully one day this week. The boys don't have school this week. So probably one day I get off of work. I'm going to call them ahead of time. Tell them to pack their stuff, get ready. We're going to run out to the parking lot somewhere. And just, you know, just run. They got a little um, Hillion from Hobby, from USA Hobby. Or Hobby Town, USA. So I let them run their cars while, you know, run with mine. Anyway, yeah, that's a wrap for now. I think I covered everything. Anyway, fully... Electronical upgraded HPI bullet. Peace.